Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela. I'm the crazy poppy lady and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late in. And we were just scoffing the last of our dinner and I'm just trash me air. So... <laughs> all sorted ready to go right so before we start off with our normal stuff today i'd just like to remind you that over on my ravelry shop at the moment i have got a coupon code okay now this coupon code was introduced the other night by reggie on her live now i did mention it on the end of my sunday live um sorry if, if my eyes are darting over here instead of at the camera it's because i've put my mic here and my eyes are attracted by glittery, sparkly things, which happens to be the mic. So I'll try my hardest to keep looking at you and not up there. Otherwise, you lot are going to think that my glasses aren't working and my eyes have gone back to being dip dazzled. But let's get back to the coupon code now. The coupon code is for 15% off. Now, you can use that on my shop over at my Ravelry shop. Or you have got our gorgeous Kath, uh, Kath, uh, Kath's eye catchers. You can use it over on her Etsy shop, I believe. I'm sure she'll correct me in a minute. And also uh, Reggie's um, Etsy shop. All three of us are using the same code. Um, which is Hooker's Holiday. All in capital letters. And that gives you a 15% off across the board on all of, uh, all of the different stores. If you have managed to or you managed to join in on Reggie's live or if you didn't pop over have a nose because she's got some beautiful creators that had donated some gorgeous prizes and some of them have also got discounts off on their channels and stuff with different codes so it's a nice cheeky way of um how to put it a bolster yeah bolstering up your christmas wish list <laughs> that everyone can items off of right so uh, let's uh, pop over and have a look we have uh, got dodo in yay she made it welcome in dodo remember girl you need to win another question uh sorry get the answer correct and win yeah another question for your chance to get your ticket from the christmas lives last week okay now that we have got three girls that hopefully we will see either today or tomorrow and hopefully they will win the other part of the ticket but for everybody else we're back to normal rules now it is a case of a vault pass if you've got all seven patterns then roll it on give dodo a chance <laughs> to win her, her um ticket her rest of her golden ticket gang right so let's see who's in as i said dodo's in she's saying good evening to you all kath has come in as well she sneaked in that door quick she, with a hello so dodo says hi kath kath is saying hi dodo and Kathy's saying it's correct. It's Hooker's Holiday. Sweet. Yeah, as I said, that is up the top. Um, I've got that um, clicked so that you can we'll get to see it all the time throughout the whole live today. I've also um, got it so that anybody can comment today um, and not just channel members. And so if this is your first time in, pop a comment in, but make sure that you um, and join the channel because otherwise you may miss out on future prizes because I like to give back to my channel members first and foremost. Kaz is in the house. She's saying hi Dodo Kath and she's giving you girls a wave. Where's my wave Dodo? Uh, Kaz? <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Right so uh, what have you girls been up to? Are you cro uh, what are you crocheting at the moment? Or are you, um, sorry, I'm just trying to sort my uh, chat box out. Oh, and I want to pop it out. There we go. Then I won't worry, have to worry about opening and closing to be able to see it. Um, top chat, live chat. There we go. Will it catch up? Will it heck? I'll be with you in a second, girls. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got, so, yep, back, back, back. Um, and Jenny's in as well. Oh, welcome back in, Jen. And uh, Kathy's saying hi to Jen. So everybody is saying hello to everybody else. <laughs> right, I've been a busy bee again this week. Um, I don't know if all of you have managed to catch the... Um, video on saturday the whips bits and chat 
um, but in that I was discussing the fact that I've put a couple more patterns up on the channel we have now got you've now got 20 to choose from if you like to work from patterns alone some of them of course have got co corresponding videos already out on the channel and it just means that if you're choosing one of the blankets you're not going to have to sit there and try and keep up with me and write down the box count because it's already there within the pattern and um the good thing about these patterns is it's written by me so there's lots of different variations of it so you with the corner to corners you get a chart and you get your box counts and you get your how to's on how to do it and you got links to um the video the corresponding video as well as the tips and tricks video within each of those ones with the father christmas of course you're linked into the father christmas um tutorial that went up this month and with the fairy that is also a linked in to a tutorial as well there are a couple on there that haven't though like haven't got a tutorial like the face it's quite simple you work round and round and round boom dump right and so uh, let's go back to see what you guys have all said right uh, where are we silver fox has sneaked in through the door she's saying uh, good evening angela and everyone in chat Kaz is still knitting her shawl. Which one is it? Mm, I know you've told me probably what twice and I still forget, don't I, Kaz? You know what my brain cells like. Um, so Dodo's saying hi to Silver. Kath says hi to Silver. Jen is making young geeks alpine cone beanie. Oh, I'll have to go and have a nose at that later. Um, Dodo is saying she is searching for a poncho pattern there are too many to choose from I don't know ponchos my first step is normally to a uh, jump over to um, a bag a day and have a nose through hers because I can work her patterns really easily because she was in my head the one that taught me to crochet or at least to do clothing anyway um, so that's where I, I jumped to first for having a nose. And she has got a couple of nice ones. Um, I'm thinking Fibre Fox, I believe, has one as well. Sabrina is in the house. Oh, welcome in, darling. Sabrina, have you got any um, crochet ponchos? I'm just trying to think who else might have some. I know Reggie probably got one, didn't she? She's not here to ask yet. I wonder if she'll pop in tonight. I forgot to give everybody their prior five-minute warning. I am so bad, so, so bad at the moment. Um, Kath, I don't have a tutorial for this face. Oh, I nearly knocked him off the shelf. <laughs> I haven't got, I haven't got a tutorial for that. I just didn't see the point in it. For now, anyway. Um, there we go, sorry. Uh, where were we? Uh, Sabrina was saying hello to me, Kath and everybody. Kaz is saying it's the Ashton Chalette. Sounds interesting. Um, then we've got Hi Sabrina. Oh, poor pie guys in. Welcome in, mister. Hey, we've got a boy of the building, girls. Don't be picking on him too much. <laughs> um, Kathy's saying, oh, she's been searching for a nice uh, turtleneck poncho pattern. Suggestions are welcome. As I said, there were those ones. Actually, um, Talking Lads. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, I can't think of his name. Nope, Craig doesn't do patterns, does he? Oh, I can't think. My brain has gone to sleep. Daniel, Poncho Patterns, mister. Do you do patterns on your channel? I can't remember. I've had a little nose, but not been mega not done a deep dive <laughs> um actually kath is it um girly or a boy for for a lass or for a lad kath because you're gonna you're gonna hit me <laughs> you're gonna hit me <laughs> i tried i tried um working on something the other day actually gang um it is a from if you want to have a nose at the actual pattern open another page a quick and you are looking for my video that said simply crochet issues number can't flip and read it it's too small 
Hold on. Let's see if we can get... I can't see it now. Ah! Oh, get out of the way, you. All right. Use cam camera. Focus. All right. We are lo looking for that issue there. Basically, we're looking for this issue here from um, last Christmas. That has got an absolutely a gorgeous one in. I can't believe I was looking at it the other night. I told you, I'm rubbish at remembering stuff. Um, and But it's cabling. How do you girls feel about cabling? I am still attempting it. This is my first attempt. I tried the mitts. I gave up. I undid it. I tried the scarf. I gave up. <laughs> I undid it. I'm now working on the hat, and if this doesn't work, I'm only four rows, like three to four rows into the cabling at the moment. But if it don't work, I'm gonna throw it <laughs> and give up. Well, give up for this week because the only time the co cabling made any sense was when I attempted to drink some of this wine. I had about a glass of it. It tastes like vinegar. It's vile. But all of a sudden it seemed to work and, and it looked lovely and it still looked lovely in the morning as well, which was very shocking. But I will show you that pattern now. Right, so you were saying a roll neck finger me, finger me, something like, hold on, there we go, something like that. I'll uh, have to scoot down now and see if that was what you was looking for, honey. Right, so we got people saying hello. Kathy speaking French to Sabrina again. <laughs> um, where we go, where we go, where we go. Hi, hi Daniel. Hi, da um, so um, Beverly has made it. She's got a super... It got super early today. She got a polished you. Welcome in, darling. Yeah, <laughs> Kathy's on the cheeky. She's saying, can you handle all the cheeky girl power, Daniel? I think now Daniel's safe. We'll take him under our wing like we always do. Um, it is snowing in Newfoundland, Canada. Oh, I bet that's starting to look pretty, but flipping freezing. Um, so he's saying he can always handle a little girl power. <laughs> Hi Jane and welcome in. Ah, that's number two that's here now for the part um, for the rest of their Christmas pass. Um Right, so uh, Daniel's saying he's got a couple of patterns but no shawls. Um Kath, yeah, you were saying you were looking for a roll neck. Was was this one something that would interest you? There's a cheeky reason for that. I believe I've got a second second one of these, so I could technically send it over to you. Yes, um, Daniel Bag of Day really does do some uh, gorgeous shawls and um, other clothing makes. That's where I learnt how to do my clothing, or at least how to do anything other than single crochet. Because <laughs> before I found her channel, all I did was have a guru me. <laughs> I didn't venture anything further than that. Um, where have we gone? Sabrina's saying she's got a lot of catching up to do on a lot of videos. It's always the same. Um, basically, some of us can take a week off of making videos because we know our gorgeous followers are still playing catch up over the week of Christmas. So, yeah, I will actually be taking Christmas, um, Christmas slash New Year week off. Um, I won't be popping anything out for that week just because I want to spend extra time with the family um, and not have to worry about um, sort of coming in three to four times a day to check on messages and things. It means I can just have a quick look on messages where people are playing catch up. I can look and then comment and respond to comments sort of once a day, maybe twice at a push. Uh, like, uh, Dodo is doing a refresh. Oh, she's probably back by now. I've been chatting away like there's no tomorrow. And Bevy's saying, oh, wine, wine drinking me, laugh out loud song. So, oh, I don't know. I've never, I've been tipsy, as in I've started to feel the effects of alcohol. But I've never been to the point where I'm flat out on my face paralytic. Never. Never got that far. Not yet. Um, the challenge has been set many a time. 
and so far I've drunk everybody else under the table. <laughs> you got to remember my husband's ex-military, so uh, when it came to a Christmas do's and things, I used to be the one that would go to the bar to get the drinks for the table if if we had to and we were, we weren't being waited on. Um, I used to do the the drink run. So when I would go up to the up to the table, I would get a pint of water down the pint of water and then we'd walk back with everybody's drinks, including my own. But because I drank a pint of water in between each drinks so I spent a lot of time on the toilet <laughs> but it also meant that I watered down the alcohol so it didn't affect me as much okay so Kathy's after a more triangular one. Oh, okay next. what about just two triangular shawls and sew them up in the middle up to to where you want the neck and then add a cow then you can have whatever pattern you want um yeah i can't I, I just thought that one was quite a nice one as i said that was one i've been eyeing up for over a year now since i got that magazine um but i just haven't got to it yet i've definitely got enough green yarn still i haven't touched that stash for quite a while of that was it 12 or 14 or 16 bowls of green all because i brought the wrong color um, and Dodo is saying cables, she loves them, and Donny Bay has some easy tutorials on them. Um, yes, she'd love to do that poncho with a cable. Sorry, Sabrina, I'm skipping your French one. I've got no idea what you're going on about. Um, Sabrina's saying you can also check out her shawl tutorials. Yeah, I thought you had some. You never know, you might find one of those shawls. Um, Kath, you might find that one of Sabrina's shawls you like and then it's a case, as I said, of making the two, isn't it? And then joining them along the neck, possibly. I'll give you a triangle. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, yeah, Kath, I don't see the fun in being paralytic, face-planting, you face-planting drunk. Um i always found people like that more tiresome than anything because i was the sober one and if i had had my driving license back then i'd have been duty driver i'd have been the one driving everyone home i would stay that sober um to the point where when i used to go out clubbing i only used to drink fizzy pop or fruit juices i never used to drink alcohol with them so that basically there was one of us ready with a fist just in case only for only for the um, chaps that used to think it was okay to grope in me mates, it'd be like boink, <laughs> hello boink. <laughs> um, um, that's cheating, Ange. I am lost. What did I say that was cheating on? Possibly the so two shawls together thing. I don't know. Elaborate, Jane. Um, and Kathy's saying she can whip up, whip up a pattern. and she's just lazy. I thought you could, you cheeky toad. And you're going to want to get your hands on my next one, actually. Um, at some point, I will be bringing out a shawl pattern. Um, I've got it. I'm halfway there. I ran out of yarn. I went to get some more. And where it cost me three fifty for the first ball, they now want nine ninety nine. And I know I'm going to need three balls of it, or three cakes. And I'm like, no, I'm not paying. I'm not paying that for it because that would be thirty quid just for the materials. Yeah, night. Don't get me wrong. It was nice for three pound fifty, but it certainly ain't worth it for nearly ten quid. Not in the slightest. So, um, at, so at some point, I'm gonna have to find an equivalent, cheaper yarn and remake it oh the cheating drinking the water every time i went to the bar yeah but it was literally down the pint of water take the drinks back take a swig of alcohol go i'll be back in a minute i'm going out at that point i used to smoke so it'd be like i'm going out for a cigarette i wasn't i was going for a wee <laughs> and then i'd run back up a cigarette or do whatever because the rest of the table didn't notice how long i was gone for and how many times i had to go for a tiddle um 
Uh, where are we? Steph, a uh, welcome in, darling. Uh, lovely to see you. So, uh, Steph Stitched is in the house. Sweet. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, there we go, Dodo. Dodo is saying hi to Steph. Jenny's saying uh, that's a huge jump. Yeah, um, I bought it uh, first lockdown. So I bought it when my channel had just started because, of course, that, that was when I'd first started stockpiling yarn because I didn't... Before I started the channel, I had a tub. I can actually do it this size. That was it. That is all I had, a tub, that tub. And that tub had yarn in it. And that was it. I would buy for a project. Once, if it was left over, it went in there. And then that was where I used to go to first to pick up the yarn for the next project. Um, and I never had a stash at all. I was like, no, I'm not going to be one of these people that has yarn everywhere that I'm never going to use. <laughs> okay, that didn't, that backfired, didn't it? Um, but yeah, I... Um, then started up the channel so of course I've been buying yarn and getting the best deals I could but that yarn um I bought at the same time I was buying mystery bags so I'd bought a couple of mystery bags off of off of one site and that ball of yarn I'd been ironing up for a while and I went Do you know what put it in with it because to me it wasn't taking the price of the postage up at all so I was like yay sweet so that, um, that's what it was priced up at at that point. But then they had issues getting it restocked about halfway through the year. So it's been on very limited, that colour especially, is uh, very limited to the point non-existent, which is why the price has hiked up because the only place I can now really get it from um, is like eBay or somewhere or somewhere like that where people buy it, hold on to it and then, pop it on at an inflated price um, um i can't actually remember <laughs> i'd have to have a look at the label and i don't quite know where the label is but um i think it can be bought as i said it probably be bought out of the country it's one of these i could probably get it if i if i went over to europe but it cost me more than <laughs> a plane ticket wouldn't it than it would to order it in um it's like quite a lot of stuff at the moment as soon as they try and import it into the uk we they get collared with import taxes and this tax and that tax and it's taking everything sky high price wise all right steph is saying hi to kath um it was it's a cake and it's like 150 gram um what was it it's like um, a Mandela equivalent. So it's not even a Mandela, but a Mandela equivalent. A Mandela rule. However that... Yeah. However it's said. Ugh. Where are we? Yeah, so it's an equivalent to one of them. Um, but yeah, it's... No, my luck. It might even have... They might have even stopped making it now, my luck, because that seems to be the thing. I make a battle with something, and all of a sudden, there's none of it left, and that's before I've posted the pictures and the tutorial. Um, where are we? Um, and Jenny's saying hi to Steph. Jen says she only has a more than enough because of her Hobby Lobby clearance. Don't. That, I am so jealous of the Hobby Lobby clearances. Um, and the clearances that they do over in Australia as well um, at Spotlight, because I've only I've been to Spotlight once. I actually went to the proper store, but that was just when I just started crocheting before the channel got started. So I'd spent some Christmas money. There is a video somewhere uh, way back on the channel um, showing you what I'd bought, and that then that was a massive haul for me. I've still got most of it because I'm like, I'm not using it. That's my Christmas mon monies. That was my present from my mother and father-in-law. And she, my mother-in-law's going, just use it, woman. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get their sales. I just managed to catch um, a couple of their, um, their, their bags that they have. Um, and I got them on... on I got them for five bucks a bag for 400 grams and I was like, oh, I love this. 
because at that point it worked out at about three quid for 400 grams so i was laughing it's very rare we find anything under a pound for 100 grams over in the uk Sabrina is saying she's starting to discipline herself and use yarn she already has how long will that last mm, 12 hours i'm thinking Sabrina <laughs> considering i've just watched i've watched your um latest video earlier on today <laughs> um yeah i'm trying at the moment to get through um some of the swap yarns that i have that were the uk based swap yarn um so i can clear off a cube and um I need to go through these ones as well and make sure I've got all of the colours which I know I haven't because I've taken some out for other projects. <laughs> and ACT Angela won't allow you to part with to pair it with another yarn. It is not OCD, I won't pair it with another yarn in case I've got different wash instructions. <laughs> That's why I normally don't pair a different brand different brands together is because over in the uk there's no normalized care instructions so it's not like everything can be washed at 30 or everything can be washed at 40 some of the stuff that i've got although they say it's acrylic they're saying it's acrylic you can one company says acrylic i can wash at 40 another one says no you can only wash acrylic at 30 one says i can tumble dry it on low heat the other one's saying don't even bother risking it um so yeah to me I, I try and stay to the same brand of yarn for each make um just so that i know that if it's washed it and it's put in the machine it will shrink at the same it will all shrink together <laughs> the same amount and the same consistency because i know what i'm like for shrinking my stuff <laughs> um steph is saying she needs to have a huge color range because um, she likes to do arigurumis and uh, she's finding that she doesn't have the colours that she needs. Yes, yeah, Steph, are you a cotton based arigurumi or do you prefer to work in um, other yarn types for your arigurumi? Because I've got a small amount of cotton um, but I find it hurts my hands so I'd rather do my arigurumi um, on a small hook but um, I just seem to be using a lot of um, DK yarns at the moment for my arigurumi oh what did i miss from jen then you make it up in shipping no oh i missed a whole chunk sorry about that girls Ah, uh, so Steph is saying, Jen, she needs somebody to buy for her next time Hobby Lobby has their major clearance. Um, and she's saying, laugh out loud, Steph. You'll make it up in shipping, though. Um, and so whereabouts are you based then, Steph? Are you UK, Ireland? Um, or are you um, Europe or Australia? Um that is true if we that's the thing though how would that really work is it worked off of the tiff ticket price or is it worked off of what it should be priced at that's something i've never got my head around with the uh, duties and taxes um because steph is saying jen it's true but i would have saved huge on the duty um because it's charged on the value of the yarn so um by the sounds of it and i've if I've read that how it's meant, I need a sale, buddy. <laughs> Just hand wash it, then you can't go wrong. Says so calf don't be daft. <laughs> Everything gets thrown in the washing machine here. Everything is is dangerous because none of my lots separate things. So it's a case of if a crocheted item, say one of my uh, my jumper that I made, when when I wear it. I literally take it off and I put it straight into a wash bag, like um, a mesh bag that's designed to go through the washing machine. It automatically gets taken off and put straight in there. All of my crocheted stuff gets put in those type of wash bags and then they'll go into the machine that way. Um, but after watching our um, 
Courtney at Fiber Fox Studio. She did a track one once where um, it was about a year or so ago now. I've got it on a list, a playlist. I have admitted it to her. Um, I've got a playlist of what I call funny videos. If it makes me laugh, um, it goes in this playlist. But it has to really make me laugh, like to the point I'm nearly crying to get into this playlist. And so if I'm having a bad mood day, we all have them so <laughs> if i have a bad mood day i go to that playlist and i put one of the videos on well uh, one of courtney's from fiber fox studios made it to the playlist it was where way back when she started her channel she was saying about oh i don't know about washing different stuff at different temp i just shove it all in and i used to sit there going yeah i'll do the same i don't see what the problem is i'll do the same and then she pulls out these squares these granny squares she'd made and one had shrunk and another one had felted and felted to itself and she's there and she is she's got tears she's laughing so hard and because she's laughing I was laughing too and um yeah because of that it made it to the list so now every now and then I put that back on to remind me why I should read the care labels before I wash stuff especially the crocheted stuff but luckily most of my stuff is um, made with acrylic so I can normally get away with a 30 to 40 wash. I just can't hang it and I can't tumble dry it. Or I can hang it, sorry, but I can't hang it in my air buddy thing in me I've got. Sorry if you can hear hubby, he's having a fit of giggles. Right, so Steph is saying she doesn't know. She only started recently and she hasn't cr tried cotton yet. She's only crocheted with acrylic so far. Okay, well, with acrylic, it's got a bit more stretch and a bit more give to it when you're working the stitches. Um, if you work with cotton, it gives you a very defined stitch, but it can hurt your hands. So you need to make sure you take regular breaks because it's got no give in it. That's the difference between that I found when crocheting between the two. Um, I haven't got anything, I don't think. Oh, yes, I have. Hold on, where is he? Where's Frog? Wait, Captain Rippet, where are you? No, I, I tied it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's go for that one and we'll go that one. Okay, this first one is the mouse. It's not quite Aragurumi as far as it's not stuffed, overly stuffed, but you'll see what I mean. This one is done. Go on, clear up. There we go. That one is a done in a DK um, acrylic. And this one is done in a cotton. Go on, clear up. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to get it so it... Stupid thing. Right, now get me head out of the way. Whoop, they're hugging. <laughs> As you can see there, the stitches are a lot, lot clearer and they, it holds its shape a lot longer um oh crikey you can see the stuff in never noticed that um, yeah so it definitely holds its shape better um with the cotton um but as i said it hurts your hands um that's about as far as advice i can give you when it comes to aragurumi in different threads but um i'm working my way through it i've as i said i've done that i'm uh, in the process of making this crazy girl so she's got her dress and her dress is completely different it is still a DK but um, that is a different yarn that's a fuzzier yarn um, I made this one the other day the a pattern for this one is over on Instagram so if you uh, pop over to Instagram and you hunt out my page, there will be a photograph of this guy and that will take you directly through. There are links within the chat section there for this one. And this is called S'mores Please. Oh, I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's a part of a three-part um, Aragurumi set run by three uh, different Instagram creators. And they're doing it for Christmas this year. So and that was last week's. And this one was a couple of days ago. Little penguin. Yeah, mine's a bit funky because he's got different coloured feet. But shh, we don't mention that. I had to find some orange and the only one I had was a multicoloured ball of ugh. <laughs> so I pulled it down, made the feet, made one, went, that's a really nice shade of orange. Got halfway through it and went, what the f happened to his feet? And it just where it changed colour or started to change colour. 
Um, so yeah, so I made the hat with that multicolored yarn as well. But yeah, so that is the one that's recently been added, which was um, yesterday, I believe. And then we've got another one due out tomorrow, and that'll be the the set of three. So hopefully, I'll have that one made um, by Sunday, so I can show you all three of the guys together. But all three of those, as I said, those patterns are over on Ravelry. So if you want to grab them, jump onto my Ravelry link. And it's the last two photographs that went out. So it'd be easy for you to find. Right, let's scoot down because I'm so far behind. So as I am so far behind on this, I'm going to set you guys up with a question. Oh, no, I'm not doing them ones today. I'm doing different ones. All right. So... What we're going to do is I will ask you now a, a question. You shove your answers in and it's basically normally the first one that gets the correct answer will win themselves a, a vault pass. Now the vault pass are for my Dismay and Marvelous C2C patterns. So anybody that's new to the channel, these are patterns I cannot sell over on my Ravelry shop because Dismay, of course, sounds like a film company and so does Marvelous. And that gives you an idea of who the two companies are. Um, so if you're lucky enough to win a Vault Pass, I will send you over a, a list of seven different um, names with basically who the character is by the side of it. Um, and that way you can choose which one you would like to have a go at. Okay, now we have got Dodo in the house and I believe Jane is still here. Now, Dodo and Jane last week won themselves a golden ticket. They need to win another <laughs> golden ticket and then they will be lucky enough to be able to go and choose a pattern over on the Ravelry shop. But don't worry, they've got till the end of the month to do it. And if they don't manage it, it doesn't matter because that means they get next month's winner only pattern instead. I think I'll get one of them to choose it anyway. Right, so let's have a look. Uh oh this one's nice. I've got a feeling you guys will grab it uh get it straight away, but it's still worth a go, isn't it? Right, downsize that screen. And the question is make sure I take the answer off. Okay, and they've spelt it wrong. This is not my misspelling, this is theirs, so I'm gonna leave it where it is. Where might you discover the Sea of Tranquility? <laughs> Where might you discover the Sea of Tranquility? Well, it certainly ain't round here. Right, so while you guys are thinking about that and I'm popping in your answers, I'm going to carry on reading through your chat and try and catch up with you all. Um, um, right. And uh, Jenny's saying she wants to make Arigurumi, but she's not very confident with uh, sewing on face parts. Um, the sewing on is the bit that gives them the character. I fully understand where you're going there. Um, what you want to do is find a pattern that you absolutely love. Okay, it, and just slow work on it. When it comes to putting the item, oh, she says throwing it across the table. When it comes to um, putting the items on pin them into place sit it on the side and leave it go and make yourself a brew come back with your brew have another look do you like those bits there or do you think it needs a tweak do you think it needs moved over a little bit and you do that for 20 minutes half an hour once that you're liking where they are where the parts are then sew them on and don't just do what I do and go, <laughs> let's stack it all in out for the best. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you yeah, you may end up with some really bad items. A bit like um, my chocolate cake. That was that was the worst one of all. That was. Um, but is there? I've left that tutorial up to make you guys a giggle. Um, but if you're lucky, you will find a pattern that actually tells you where to put things like the although i was saying about this pattern this pattern is absolutely lovely because you make it in bits it tells you to pop the eyes in but not to put the backs on and then it will tell you where 
it like always read your pattern first basically because it tells you what row to put these eyes through and so when you've done those stitches on that pattern leave a little marker in there whether it be a bit of scrap yarn in a different color do that so then and when it comes to building it up and putting it together you know exactly where your eyes are going to go um and and that's how i did that one yesterday and that's why i managed to speed through it because of course he's in black black's a pain in the bum to do so if you were going to make a penguin i would suggest you go for a different color penguin <laughs> um, but yeah um as i said this one's lovely it's a free pattern and they tell you where to put things okay so for a first go this isn't a bad one all right i wouldn't normally do that with a pattern that i've only made the once um, especially by a creator that I've only come across recently but as I said this one's lovely it's a free pattern and if you muck it up don't worry about it honestly um, just don't tie anything off until you're really happy once you're happy uh, tie it all off sew it up and, and finish it off and you'll be fine but yeah that's a nice one for an easy that one's even easier because the face you you're basically drawing on with thread um and see and you can quite easily see where they've put it on the stitch work on the images as well so you can copy it quite easily so that's a nice one as well um he's out of a book so i can't give you the information on him um I'm just trying to think. No, she was a piglet to do, so I won't point you in that direction for your first one. All right, um, Seth is saying thanks for the tips. Um, and she's catching up with me with the um, crochet, uh, the arigurumi set. All right, Steph is saying, yep, yeah, seems like the acrylic has some fuzz on the stitches versus the cotton. Yeah, as I said, um, I couldn't, it was pointless me showing you a close up. Oh, did I? I can't even think what I showed you now in comparison. Oh, it was the mouse, wasn't it? That mouse, though, has done two Christmases of being hung up by her arms, and she normally gets hung up around the yarn, so she has been roughed about quite a bit. Yep, yeah, and Kathy's saying cotton's on uh, cotton's hard on the yarn. Jenny's saying schmorge are yummy. Steph is saying, Jen, watch a bunch of tutorials and keep at it. You can do it. Very, very true. If you're a stubborn git, which I know you can be, it works in your favour with Avrigurumi. Um, Steph is saying the s'mores is too cute. I must admit, I love the s'mores. I think he is cute. They made it in cotton, um, so he should, in theory, probably be about half this size um, because of the cotton that they call for is a thinner cotton. Um, he was done in a 2.5 millimeter hook and I'm quite a tight crocheter as well so technically it would have been a three millimeter hook for the average but with me I pull really really tight um oh crikey there we go oh, where are we going where are we going um this was cute by the way you're supposed to use Graham, Graham crackers best yeah that's what i mean that's why i've never had a proper schmores i was saying about it um last week wasn't i actually that i've never had a proper one because i can't get the proper crackers um i could possibly could now there is actually a shop in my local town that does american import food um i've been in once i looked at the prices and went i'm not that desperate to try it thanks and left um it was a bottle of what was it it was just a bottle of sauce um barbecue sauce and they wanted like six quid for it and i'm like i can get barbecue sauce for one pound fifty i'm not paying that much for the label so i left <laughs> um and steph is saying he's special uh Kathy's saying that she's watching the whips and bits in blocks. She hasn't commented yet. There's a little bit in there this week, isn't there, Sticker? David, welcome in. we got another boy in the house. Hey, he's saying hello there. And then we've got, hi, David, hi, David. And Jane is saying, yep, she's still here. Right now I'm on to your questions. I better go and check what the answer was because I can't remember. Right. <laughs> I am bad today. Oh, it's there without trying to give too much away 
right okay so let's drop back down and let's see who has got it so the question was where might you discover discover the sea of tranquility oh this was far too easy okay oh kath has used um a little thing me thing me <laughs> kath is saying in the bath uh Jen saying thank you for the tips, so that'll help. That's fine, babe. I started on Amigurumi. Um, okay, so you basically, you've all got it, but your first one in, she is going to be jumping for joy, hopefully. Oh, what is going on? Is our gorgeous Dodo. So congratulations, Dodo, with Moon. Yep, it's all the way up there. Hello. That's so unfair, isn't it? So congratulations, Dodo. That means you have managed to get your hands on the other part of your ticket from the uh, Christmas lives. So, honey, uh, you get your choice of a pattern off the Ravelry shop. Yay! Have you eyed, uh, had a nose over there yet and eyed up the one that you want, Dodo? Don't have to tell us now. Um, oh, crikey, he's playing the game. He's proper loud tonight, isn't he? Oh, okay, so we're gone. Right, Sabrina is heading off. If she's still here, have a lovely evening with Mr. Honey. Thank you ever so much for popping in, gorgeous. Um, and David is saying goodbye. Um, take care, Sabrina says, Dono, good night. Um, as Kath is saying, and good night as well. What have we got, night, night? Whoop, whoop, thank you. Dodo's chuffed. So, congratulations, honey. Way to go. Exactly, way to go, Dodo. Right, so that leaves us with Jane. Are you still in the house, honey? And has anybody seen Susan yet? Has Susan, uh, Susan Sweet popped in yet? can't remember if she has or not but they're the two girls that are left with the a golden ticket and they're just trying to get the other half of it now right so who's up for a hey, another question um oh my husband is being rather loud tonight uh uh, that's rubbish. Oh, I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do -de do do do. Let's try and drown him out. He is playing some random game. Um. Some of these are really strange. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I should have read through them all. Um, but I was running really late. We went out Christmas shopping at about half past three today. Me and my daughter went and had lunch very late. Came back and all of a sudden it was time for dinner. And both going, we're not hungry. It's only been two and a half, three hours since we've had a decent sized sandwich. Oh, this is a nice one. Righty ho. Right. So the uh, question is, where are we? And there we go. Hey, you made it in, Jane. Sorry, I, I couldn't remember if I'd seen you or not, darling. Right, here we go. So the question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Where might you locate the world's most ancient forest? Okay, ja, um, it, just give me the country, a but... If you're right smarty, you can give me the area as well. Or what it's called. But where would you locate the world's most ancient forest? There we go. Doop -de -doo. Right, so I've got my answer all written in front of me. Now I've got to remember how to get back to where I wanted to be. <laughs> and try not to push the button so you not all get the answer uh, there we go all right so uh, let's have a look what were you guys saying 
and night 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 congratulations dodos lots of you saying congratulations jane is saying ready and waiting so we just need a susan don't we where is our susan right no it is not in brazil that's what i first thought when i saw it but no not according to this question and the people that wrote it out Come on, gang, there's got to be more than just one forest in the in the world. Come on, have a think. Where else are there forests? Okay, we got uh, Siberia, Siberia. This is where you lot start writing out some really awkward words for me to in country names. Cuba, no. Not a Chile, not an Indonesia. Antarctica, Peru. I've been a cow bag. I wanted to leave it for at least three more seconds. We actually have a, a winner. Oh, where are we going? There we go, Brazil, Brazil. Um, just checking. And our winner is uh, Jen Reeves. Congratulations, darling. I'm just going to stick your first name in. We all know it's you. And it is Australia. So can any of you guess which rainforest it is over in Australia? Which to me, the words Australia and rainforest sound very alien put together, don't they? Very alien indeed. Um... So this is just for bonus bragging points, by the way, gang. Our owls is in the house. Kaz has sneaked in and she said, I've got no chance if I'm going to pronounce this right. I'm going to attempt it, oh, Kaz, but it'll probably be wrong. Dane, Dane Tree, she's saying. Hopefully I've said it correct. Yes, it was a Dane Tree forest in North Cairns. Um, but of course, the winner for the actual original question is our Jen. So Jen, do you have all seven patterns, darling? Um, if not, then you've got yourself a vault pass. But if you have, can you just do me a favour, babe, and shout, roll it on. And I will set us up with our next question. I need to downsize this. <laughs> to the point where I can read it, though. Right. <laughs> yeah that's not happening <laughs> oh everyone knows that now i've got a feeling that you guys will get this quite quickly um right so our next question is So Jenny's saying, roll it on, sweet. Everyone is congratulating her. So she got bragging rights. <laughs> right, so our next one is, what is another word for lexicon? That is, what is another word for lexicon? Now, how many of you already have asked Google? <laughs> Shouldn't be doing that. Right, <laughs> so let me just copy the word because I can't spell it. And if that ain't a big enough clue, I don't know what is. So again, that is, what is a, another word for a lexicon? Now, Je um, Kath, was that just down to my clue? Or because you actually knew? Kath has <laughs> gone and done it. These seem a bit too easy for you guys tonight. <laughs> Oh, Jane's coming in with a clever the thesaurus. She's trying to, you're trying to trip me up, aren't you, girl? A thesaurus. Um, the answer was, in fact, dictionary. Um, Dodo is saying knowledge. And Kaz has got vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, I can't pronounce that one. Please don't make me say it again. Right. Okay, some of these are so, so easy. 
Um. Um. Right. Okay. Here we go. This is hopefully a chuckable. A uh, chuckable. A uh, chuck. No, it can't pronounce it today. A uh, giggly one. Hopefully, this one will make you guys laugh. Um. Okay. So uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. According to Jen, she is frozen. And Jen, if you're still frozen, honey. Um. Refresh, refresh. Um, stream bitrate is lower than recommended. Okay, so it may be my end. I will go slow. That's because I've got two gamers that have decided they're going to stream as well. I booked it. I booked in first, the evil kids. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Gather's saying, Kaz, call me Flash. She is super speedy on these. We've got to really get in there quick. Right, next question before she hears it. Is a name the seventh planet from the sun? That is a name the seventh planet from the sun. Right, we've got seven of you in at the moment and six likes. So can you do me a favour, gang? If you haven't hit that thumbs up, could you please give it a bit of a click and hopefully we'll get a couple of more guys and girls in dodo is um oh yeah make sure you're also on live chat so that way you'll see comments are roughly the same time as me and jane has come in with P pluto <laughs> i'll translate that one for you and then we got uranus now are you guys are just guessing at the ones that you can think of we got a Saturn, we got Neptune, and um, I can't remember what the right flipping answer was, so I'll go and have a look. Uh, wrong screen again. I will get there in about three hours when I, I'll have the right one soon. Right, so where were we? Plato, Uranus, Saturn, Neptune, Mars, Uranus, Uranus. Yep, Uranus has got it. And the first one up on my screen was Jane Stevens. You've gone and got yourself the rest of that um, golden ticket, darling. And so congratulations. Let me uh, just pop that in. So there we go. A congratulations, Jane. Now, that's it. We've lost her for five minutes now she, while she pops over and has a nose on the um, on the website to see which one she would like to get her hands on. Oh, that really didn't read correctly. I am so sorry, Jane. I'm not calling you that word. I'm saying that was the answer. Oh, um, yep, so that's okay. Jane's forgiven me with a whoop whoop. Oh, uh, whoop poo. I say a uh, congratulations, darling. No problems. Right. So then we only have a Susan left to go to collect her ticket. So that's Umbriel. That's Hey, um, what was, this, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. So, uh, girls, uh, when you come to claim, uh, can you claim this as you would normally do? Once this video uh, goes into replay, pop a comment underneath. I will give you a, a, and find me off an email, then I will give you a cold bird to shove in the end of that comment. You don't have to hide it. Remember, you just stick it on the end. Once I see that, um, hopefully you'll have told me what pattern you want, and then I will fire that pattern over to you in the next email. You may not get it straight away this evening. It may be sometime tomorrow. Susan, welcome in. You, your ears must have been burning, girl. Burning, they must have. 
because I'm like, where is my Susan? Where is Susan? She's got to win the other half of her ticket tonight or tomorrow, depending. So yay, we've passed out two of the remaining tickets that were left. So we've uh, just got Susan and left to grab hers tonight. And then, of course, everybody else has the a chance to win their vault prizes. If you've already got all seven of the vaults, uh, please uh, roll it on for the next person. Right, so let's get another question in. And fingers crossed, I can find one that will take us more than three seconds to correctly guess. Uh... Uh, I've already got the question and I've already got the answer and I already know what the clue would be if any of you don't know it but I've got a feeling you lot are too smart so you're going to know it in about five, four, three, two, one type thing. Right, and the clue, um, not the clue, sorry. The question is, what is the normal name for calcium carbonate? What is the normal name for calcium carbonate? It's a bit of a sciencey question, but I think you guys will know it. And if not, I have the clue ready to go. So there we go. Fire in your answers. Go on, Susan. Let's see if you manage it tonight. I've got a feeling you may do. Everybody's waiting for you to get in there first by the looks of it. No, Steph is not baking soda, darling. Keep trying. You can put in as many as um, many answers as you want, but separate on each time. Um, and no, Kathy is not salt. Ah, so Kath is playing using the emojis this evening. That means that Kath has all of her past, uh, her things. Um, and no, not fizzy drink. It's not soda ash. No. It is a, a two-word answer, darlings. Right, it is not limestone. Not baking soda. Uh, it's uh, not calcium as such. Um, it's calcium uh, carbonate. We are looking for the other word, um, Steph. We're looking for something else that it is normally called. If you saw it in a shop, say. Um, it's not limestone and it's not baking powder. Do you girls need a clue? Okay, uh, your clue is... It's sometimes white, or it's mostly white, unless dye is added to it. And duck if the teacher throws it at you. There's some clues. So the clues were, it's normally white unless a dye is added to it. And duck if the teacher chucks it at you. What are you thinking? Have my clues really confused you like normal? Or do we think you've all got it? Oh, I've had a little bit of a, du a jump. Marshmallow. If a teacher chucked a marshmallow at me, Kaz, I'd be trying to catch that in my mouth. <laughs> Congratulations, Jen. We have a winner and the winner is Chalk. Uh, Jen with the word chalk that is what calcium carbonate is also known as it's definitely not one I would want to eat <laughs> not again anyway I used to as a kid I think I think we've all tried it at some point haven't we Right, there's one here. I'm uh, I'm going to read it out to you, but this is not one of the questions I will be putting down. The question here is, in embroidery, what does UFO refer to? <laughs> and if you lot don't know that, oh my word, you are in trouble. Right, okay, so Jen is saying, uh, roll it on, please. 
<laughs> I th I think I might have found questions for for young children here. You know. Kath, you nearly made me spit out my water, you toe rag. She's, um, Kath is saying yes, and it tastes good in regards to the chalk. Oh, okay, you know why these are so easy? <laughs> the title's just come up. More trivia questions for kids. <laughs> no wonder we're getting through them so quick. Oh, here is one for us, though. I don't care if it's meant to have been for kids, and it's not very brain-taxing tonight. Okay. And this one, I know some of you will know the answer to, if not all of you. But hey, let's just have some fun with some really dodgy kids' questions. <laughs> right, Scooby-Doo and his comparison uh, companions. They go around in which a vehicle? There we go. So basically, Scooby-Doo and his comparisons, uh, uh, comparisons, companions uh, go around in which a vehicle? So can you name the vehicle from Scooby-Doo? Mmm, let's see. And then I will have to find some better questions for tomorrow, won't I? <laughs> oh dear, but that just shows how good my brain was today. I was struggling <laughs> with these. <laughs> Dodo's in there like a shot. Crikey, Dodo. Oh, Kath, now you is getting technical. <laughs> right, okay. So we've got Kath that said, depending on the craft and the craft, uh, it might be flying object in this house. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the amount of times I've chucked stuff on camera and gone, no, nah, don't like that. Yarn's gone over somewhere and a project's gone flying. Oh, dear. Um, Right, so Dodo has answered that correctly straight off with a mystery machine. And bonus brownie points to Kath for getting the VW van. Ah, but it should have been VW camper. No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, congratulations again, Dodo. Are you um, rolling it on or are you uh, nabbing a bolt pass? By rights, you should be rolling it on. All right, uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Susan got it with the Volkswagen camper. Um. <laughs> Steph is saying she should have known that, but she totally forgot it. It was her favourite cartoon as a kid. I must admit, I did like it. Um, I'm slightly strange, though. Um, how was it? He Do you remember He-Man? It was like how the boys were meant to watch He-Man and the girls watched She-Ra. Well, I didn't really like She-Ra that much, so... I, I preferred He-Man and they've just done a remake and it's on Netflix and it's a little series with okay the characters are there and it's a prequel to the original I think I'm not too sure but basically there's now two seasons and I've done them <laughs> I was like He-Man He-Man I sat down and I started watching it and I'm like this isn't what I remember this isn't how I remember it going and then I realized it's because they've added more to them. Um, right, so Dodo is saying, roll it. Oh, I've got a croaky, croaky voice. I am so strict. <laughs> now you know what Happy likes me. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to have to go soon. I'm, I'm on water and I'm, I'm probably doing your heads in. Oh, Thundercats. Yeah, we snarf. That, that was the, the, the top, top favourite, I think. But they haven't brought the cartoon back. So did it translate well then, um, Kath? Or did you actually watch it in um, English? Oh, now, will any of you get this? Any of you? Now, this is a book. Okay, so the, so the question is a, a book. We'll just have a bit of fun, really, won't we? Right. 
Now, can you name the five characters in the Enid Blyton Famous Five trilogy? I'm going to add the extra word on. Okay, so can you name the five characters in the Enid Blyton Famous Five trilogy? I say that because there's lots of them and I've got most of them upstairs. And you know what? I could only name three <laughs> if I'm looking at it now. I'm like, I don't remember that one and I don't remember that one. But basically, I give it a moment and if you don't get it, I'll just ask you what the name of the dog was <laughs> and see how many of you remember. Okay, let me see, let me see. Where are we going? Looks like we're giving up on the questions by the looks of it. Just talking about kids' TV. Um, where are we going? I love the Thundercats. I love T-Ran. she Rashid's cat. Um, Steph is saying yes to a Thundercats. Um, you watched it in dubbed French. Wow. Okay. Um, Oh, I'm pushing buttons I shouldn't be. Hold on a second, gang. Sorry. Right, where are we? Sorry. Yeah, so it's name five characters in the Enid Blyton of Famous Five. That's five names you've got to try and remember. Um, Dodo saying, does anyone remember the Wurzels? Technically, I shouldn't. Technically, they were before my time or after my time can't quite remember um hello jessica welcome in darlene we don't share internet um other um sites on this channel i'm sorry to say so i don't share other channels either so if you're here to join in with the crazy and the crocheting crowd a welcome in if you're here to try and promote um a another channel or a service then please go elsewhere Right, let's move on. Hopefully you're here for the crochet though, honey. And if you are, be warned, your first comment had a very strange wording to it. Which normally gets blocked. Where are we gone? A cat is saying that she has never heard of the famous five. Dodo hasn't either. Susan, did you do a cheeky cheeky one there? Right, so she, Susan has got... George, which is actually Georgina, um, and Gillian, Timothy, Annie, and Duck. I was about to say Duck. That's no, there wasn't a Duck, but yeah, I know why you've put Duck because his name was Richard. <laughs> but people abbreviate Richard down to a Dick here in the UK. It is a name. So, uh, congratulations, Susan. You've gone and done it, darling. Um, I'm guessing it is a roll it on mind. Um. Um, and Steph is saying, never heard of it, can I Google it? I think everybody else is, Steph. Um, I was thinking today you might not have to, because um, these are technically for the kids. Um, the reason I chose Enid Blyton was because I am an avid, or was an avid collector of her books when I was a kid. So I've got pretty much all of the Famous Five and Secret Seven, but even then, I've read the majority of them, and the only name I could remember was Timothy the Dog and <laughs> Dick. <laughs> And that was just because his character was funny, not because of anything else. Because when I was reading the book, I was about nine or ten. So I didn't see that word <laughs> and that name as a naughty word, Batman. And Dodo was coming with, she knows that the dog was called Timothy. <laughs> Susan saying, dick not duck, honey. I guessed it. And Dodo saying, I think you got it right, Dodo. And Kathy's saying yes that she watched a French TV growing up. Kath, I thought they were, darling. Um, but I was just being polite and nice. On the off chance that it wasn't, I was sort of giving them a warning. But as I said, it's not acceptable here. And thank you ever so much for smacking them on the heads really, really quick. That is the first one that I've had come through chat in quite a while. I get them. I get them on the normal videos. Um, 
I probably get one a week but I've got it set up so that it doesn't go straight on it will get pulled up um, so then I have to okay those sort of comments the thing was that that last one that last looked like a normal name it wasn't the normal stuff that the weird and wonderful names that normally come through when they're trying to uh, offload their dodgy sites it's like come on we know we we're bound to know better sites than that and if you don't pm me <laughs> i'll send you some links i don't make nothing off them though <laughs> um, wait, sorry bad poppy all <laughs> right um susan is saying fantastic i have a one volt pass on hold can i cash in for the pattern yes yes you can susan yes you were my last one weren't you darling i completely forgot about that because we had that other lass and pop up so a uh, congratulations susan you've completed the christmas vault pass trilogy there was three of you earlier that needed your ticket Right, so let's have a look. What else are you chat saying? Um, all right, so Susan is having a giggle at Kath. So that is brutal. So we've got three patterns out the door tonight. We've got one more to go, I suppose. Is anybody here needing one of the patterns? Because I've got a horrible feeling that pretty much all of you have um got it maybe steph hasn't steph are you a, a channel member yet as in have are you um oh what's the phrase gang help me out here brains turn to marsh if you get you you'll get used to me <laughs> honestly you will um oh dear brain brain it's gone it's going to sleep gang it is really going to sleep um yeah if you just subscriber there we go are you have you subscribed yet darling because you're quite new aren't you to our lives i thought you was new um do me a favor babes um hit the subscription um that way you'll get notified of new videos coming in and onto the channel and things like that you never know you might see some crazy stuff you like there's um tutorials um magazine reviews yarn reviews and things like that because normally when it comes to the um games and stuff that i run it is for the subscribers of the channel so you do need to be subscribed to the channel it doesn't cost you anything it's free um So how are you actually enjoying the live? Or do you think I'm crazy and will you be coming back for some more? That is the main question. Um Kaz is asking if you were something. That's it. Kaz, Kaz was helping me out with my brain fart moment. <laughs> I have them quite regularly. Yep, Steph has subbed. Yay, sweet. Um Kathy's saying that she's she likes playing whack a troll. She gets them as soon as as soon as they post. Yes. They use regular names now, but they post, their post is odd. She typed it on Google once and it happened to be a URL for a porn. I must admit, I've done it before now. I've clicked through and got a face full of girly parts. And um, I sent them a mail, I put a message underneath, right? <laughs> Mate, I'm not that way inclined. If I was, I've got better sites. Or do you want to know them? <laughs> and find them off that response because nobody was going to see it on the channel so um so i did it that way i was like do you know what i'll have a bit of a laugh with them i have done it before now where i've sent them back some better channels um yes kath i am crazy i'm thankfully the good kind of crazy otherwise you lot would have, would have all left me by now um <laughs> yeah as jen said it is it's fun here and and it is pretty much for free um i don't do the buy me coffee or the sticker thingy at the moment i may bring the sticker thing in next year um it depends i'm gonna have a chat with a couple of other creators because i want to know a bit more about how it works from their point of view um and then i will 
make a an, un, an idea then of whether I want to do it that way. If I, if you wanted to support the channel financially, pop over to Ravelry and grab one of the patterns. The patterns start from a pound a pop. So one might be a pound, one might be two. Um, the more in-depth ones like these ones are like between £4.50 and £5 depending on how long they've taken me basically to write up. Oh, you lot are being all sickly sweet. What's going on? You've all already got your seven prizes for this year. <laughs> Flash your extras. <laughs> uh, was... Oh, bless you. Watch some of my replays. Uh, thank you ever so much. Ah, so you're a secret stalker first. You have a look. See if you're going to get on with them. And I don't blame you. I sometimes do that. Well, I do do it now, actually. I'll sit there and I'll watch some videos and and stuff before I, I normally join a channel and interact more with them because there's been a couple over the years that I've joined and after about two or three weeks I'm going no nah, that person's doing my nothing <laughs> um oh yeah so was it for it uh where are we going where are we going well don't think we're picking on you either honey it's just you're new we like new <laughs> um good kind um, Kathy's asking, did they answer? No. I don't think they understood me, Kath. I don't think they realised that that wasn't the type of naughty videos I liked. And they didn't appreciate the fact that I sent them videos of boys on boys. I thought, well, if you're going to give me a face full of girl, I'm going to give you a face full of boy. Boink. Um... Okay, Susan's saying I, I'm awesome, but I am also quite naughty at times as well. And I wouldn't mind, but I've not even been drinking. I try not to drink on the channel, but when I'm relaxed with the crowd that's in here, that's when I become a bit more naughty. And the girls that are in tonight oh my are in here regularly, aren't you girls? So you guys all know me now and will tell me off if I get a bit too oh, naughty. Um... All right, so you've been, uh, Steph has been sub for a few months. She's just never been able to make a live. It takes me a little while to pick up people's names. When I chat to you for that moment that I'm, that I'm responding, I'm responding to you and to you alone. And I'll remember bits and pieces that I might have said in the past to you. Um, like if, it, if you put in a message on a video, say, um, but it takes me a little while. Um, it'll take me about six months of you coming in and regularly bashing me on the head going I'm here hello and chatting for me to remember everything because as you've guessed I've got a memory like a sit I like Dory the fish out of finding Nemo actually I'm worse <laughs> compared to me that girl belongs to Mensa <laughs> well I'd had a no I'd I'd been bombarded um by those trolls at that point I'd, I'd been bombarded, not on the lives, because luckily I wasn't doing lives back when this happened. Um, but I was getting every single video. And I cottoned on to why, though. I worked out why. It's because on a Saturday, Sunday, it's called whips, bits, and chatting it whips. So, of course, one of their keywords must be <laughs> whip, as in ka naughty, <laughs> rather than, oh, look, I haven't finished this project. So I think that's how I was attracting them back then. But then, after the fact, quite a lot of other crochet people were getting bombarded as well. And I've noticed that they're doing a circuit of us at the moment as well. Because, um, what was it, you and Reggie, uh, Kath and Reggie got caught on Sunday by a couple. Um, another one of the girls was caught yesterday on their lives. A couple of them come in and got knocked on the head really quick. So I think they're just doing the rounds of us again and then they'll move on to a different community for a little bit. Um, well that's what and in regards to hardcore responses I think it's sometimes they just need to be told it's like you can tell them till you're blue in the face and but if if they don't speak the same language you're just not going to get through so you show them the if they're showing you images you show them images back <laughs> scare the daylights out of them if you'd have come back with another one though there would have been some think worse that I'm not going to mention on the channel. Um, 
but just just think worse. Remember, I I am a military wife, and I have got a military sense of humour. <laughs> so if you have any military friends and stuff, or family, you know how bad we can get if we need to. All right, Kaz is heading off, lady. She's saying thanks for the fun, and catch she'll catch us all tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining us, darling. It's mega early over there. I'm assuming she's getting her tush into gear to go and do the school run or work because what are we what time are you on over there seven in the morning uh just coming up to what eight in the morning at the moment i think <laughs> i've just seen your message kaz i'll be back there in a minute um <laughs> Um, as Steph is saying, just keep swimming, keep swimming, exactly. But my phrase is just keep crocheting, 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 because then I forget what the song was initially. Um, okay, so everybody is saying goodnight to Kaz. And Gath is saying she once had a random guy send her a D-pic as an opener on a dating site. She asked the guy if he dropped his pants in the pub as well when first meeting someone and he apologised <laughs> I've already worked out what my response to that would have been I would have sent him a d-pic back Some, well, I'd have found one on the internet wouldn't I the, the, there's loads around and I'd have just gone mine's better than yours boink that shut him up <laughs> I'm sorry bad i'm i'm trying to explain to my 16 year old at the moment sort of some of the things that you should and shouldn't do on the internet and how to respond to certain things if they make you feel uncomfortable like cat calling which is we used to call it wolf whistling so it's like you walk past a building site and the blokes will start wolf whistling nowadays if the blokes do that they can get slapped with a cease and desist um, whereas back when I was 16, 18, whatever, if a bloke did that to me and he was young enough and he looked fit, I'd ask him, I'd be like, where are you taking me? Like, take us to the pub then. If he was 20 plus, I'd be like, eh, mate, you're old enough to be my big brother. If they were a few years older than that, I'd be like, oh, you are sick, mate. You're old enough to be my dad or granddad. And then that would make the rest of the lads laugh on site and you could get away quite easily. Um... And he's just trying. I'm just trying to teach my daughter the differences between be offended or take the Mickey out of him because she is a warped like me. So she will get around to taking the Mickey out of him. She's just got to get the confidence up. All right. So Kaz was saying, yes, it's eight a.m. Okay, so we're minus an hour on the clock and flick it round. Got it. So yeah, off she goes to work. Thank you for joining us, babe. Super early, and I'm happy I got you through your first two cups of coffee this morning. Um, Tap Tap saying, Kat, you should have said, give me a minute. I'm looking for a microscope. My comment would have been, move the hair. I can't see nothing. <laughs> oh, dear. Stop me. Stop me. I'm going to get banned and in trouble. Um, Susan is saying she loves that, Kath. Um, <laughs> it's having a good old giggle. At Susan's giggling away with Kath. Um, so. Steph's giggling with Dodo. Everyone's having a good old giggle and I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> are we after another question or are we just going to take the mickey out of people on the internet tonight? I tell you what, I don't think some of these guys that pop on expect the crowd in the crochet community to be such a mixed age bunch, let alone a bunch of raving loonies we're all lovely we're all lovely loonies but most of us can take a good old giggle take a laugh and take the mickey we haven't i haven't come across too many oity toity snooty wooty people that would be overly offended i've come across a lot of people that would give back the abuse if we could get away with it Um, Kathy saying laugh out loud Dodo I'm also one to join in the banter I miss I miss being cat called and wolf whistled um, I remember after I had my um, younger daughter um, I was I, I had postnatal depression and I'd managed to drag myself kicking and screaming out of the house with the baby to walk down into the local town and I'd put my favourite dress on 
okay it had fitted i was so chuffed i was wearing my favorite summertime dress pushing the baby along trying absolutely every technique i could to get my brain out of postnatal depression mode and i'm walking along and all of a sudden this bloke wolf whistles and i tell you what that was the best thing i had this beaming grin just appear on my face because i'm like all of a sudden someone's gone oh she's fit enough to wolf whistle and so i just turned to him gave him a thumbs up and went thanks mate i went if i was single i'd buy you a pint just to just by making me happy you made me day and it didn't matter to me how old this person was whether he was old enough to be my dad or a young lad taking the mickey it didn't matter it was just it just pulled me out of that mood at that point whereas i know if i'd had the kid nowadays and i'd walk past the building site i wouldn't have got that reaction so i would have gone home still in a mizog mood um so season saying she really needed this laugh ladies oh that is cool um oh jane's just legged it for a second <laughs> she probably run to the loo <laughs> um kathy's saying i think they think they're gonna shock us but boy were they ever so wrong <laughs> exactly that's the thing is is like um Oh, I'm trying to think, who did they do it to? One of the girls over in America. Um, she got Octavia the Octopus. Oh, why can I think of the stuffed teddy bear? But I can't think of her name today. I can't think of her name. But um, they were picking on her the other week and she gave as good as she got. And I was like, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh at all, but she gives as good as she gets. And um, I think that's brutal because she's a couple of generations above me. I'll put it like that in a polite way. She's a little bit older, but she gives as good as she gets as well. Whereas you, when you look at her and you see a little cute nan sitting sitting in a rocking chair, you don't expect to, as it's Sandy, thank you, you don't expect Sandy to come out with some of the stuff she does. I love her to bits. Absolutely love her to bits. Yeah, you all know who I mean straight off, didn't you? Um, right, so let me think what we're saying. Kath is saying that her first job, she was a 19-year-old girl in a man's job. She'd heard it all and she gave as much as she got and she loved it. I used to work, I worked in a pub at the age of 15. I was running the bar at 16 because it was a social club and back in the 90s, you could run a bar at 16 if it was a social class as a social club because it was a members only club um where people used to go and play pool and darts it wasn't a naughty girly dancey club <laughs> um no this place was um for darts and all of the people that used to come in all used to support the same football team as well so they they taught me the offside rule they taught me all about footy um and they were a bunch of dirty toe rags but there was a mixed age group and for some reason i seemed to be able to chop and change how i spoke to each of them i used to speak to them all slightly differently so if if um and so the person was in their 70s or 80s i was very very respectful um if they were 40s to 50s i was still very respectful if they were rude i'd put them in their place if they were the same sort of age or a couple of years older than me and they start getting a bit leery i'd threaten to thump them in the nabbly bits and and that shut them up i didn't have any issues in that pub at all um no that's a lie sorry we had one night where one bloke who'd just come in off the street kicked off and i just looked at two of the like um two of the regulars and went do us a favor get him out they just literally grabbed him by one grabbed him by his arm the arms the other one grabbed his oh hooked his legs up oh pants um hooked his legs up and just wiped him away i say pants because i've just spilt water all over my keyboard and my leg is cold okay well luckily i've got another keyboard uh, okay right, stick that down there let it tangle for a bit and see how we go. Thankfully, it's only water. Okay, I hopefully I haven't switched anything off. No, but my internet's dropping in and out again. Right. Yep, so you guys could all, all get.
guest at my left is right with Sandy. Ah, so Kath is a, a chocolatier, a male-dominated branch. Oh, you'd get on with my next-door neighbour. She's a chocolatier as well. Um, she makes some wicked stuff. Ah, David. In Granny D's, who's picking on our DD? David. Um, David is saying she's seen, he's seen people being downright awful in Granny D's live streams. I haven't been over for a little while. Nobody picks on my DD. Um, Kathy's asking trolls, David. Um, Jane is staying back. Way to go, Jane. Welcome back, Jane. Um, oh, I've had a jump. Sorry, Jen, I didn't mean to make you scare, uh, to scare you when I um, threw the water all over my computer. Um, well, it's not over the computer, it's over the um, keyboard. So now if I attempt to type anything, it might actually correct the spelling for me. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Um, sorry, Jen, um, what was it, Jen? I was reading your bit here about had a heyday with Harvey Price and he started talking and chatting with everybody. Did she actually have, I'm a little bit lost here. Um, are we talking Harvey Price as in um, Kate Price's son? Katie Price's son, Harvey. As in she actually got to speak to the lad or something. Or she was talking about him. Um, <laughs> Froggy's going for a swim. Um, I don't know why Froggy's gone. I think I picked him up and lobbed him, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I lobbed li uh, literally all of the crochet I just got and threw out the way. Anything I could, I threw out the way. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Froggy's got a point. <laughs> a pond. Um, I've lost it. It just jumped again. There we go. Froggy's going swimming. Froggy's got a pond. So kind of you, Ange. <laughs> um, yes, David, it is an external dripping. I can't actually show it to you. It's still attached. Yeah, an external dripping keyboard. It's okay. It's been on its way out for about the last six to eight months. Um, the stands on the back broke last year. I've got a new one actually sitting down the side in its box all ready to go it's just it's got lights on it and i don't want it i want to trade it off for a plain bland boring keyboard oh i'm pushing buttons on this oh pants please don't tell me i've just knocked you guys off uh what have i done what have i done hey oh, please tell me are you still there or have i just buggered up um, I'm going to keep talking and hopefully by the time I get to about down to the bottom, I'll know we're okay. Um, and where are we going? Right, do -do. there we go. Yeah, to, um, D getting tortured with trolls, I don't think any of us would like that. If I'd have been on that one, I would have been knocking them. It's a case of knocking and blocking, but there's not a great deal more we can do, is there? Because you can try reporting them till the cows come home, but they, um, YouTube aren't picking up on it so much at the moment. Yeah, luckily, um, mods are extra, extra, super cool and super, super speedy. My mod is Kath. Because <laughs> I worked out how to do the button one day and turned a blue. <laughs> um, I think I turned Reggie blue as well at the same time. But I haven't got many um, mods on this channel. Because I can't remember how to do it. Um, um, uh, so there's a troll running round. That is disgusting. Sorry, I've just caught up with Harvey is a troll. And that is disgusting using Harvey Price's name 
um and then coming in and saying stuff under his name because i didn't think i know that the lad is a partially sighted if not blind with additional needs to put it politely and i wasn't sure whether his um typing ability or was better than mine or not oh that was a nice way of putting it wasn't it <laughs> whether his typing ability is better than mine considering all we all know how bad my typing is don't we um <sighs> <laughs> so what mops better crop oh i didn't i just tipped it on the floor it'll dry up <laughs> um and then a bit of tissue thankfully i found some bogey rags <laughs> as we call them in this house found a packet of brand new bogey wrap well they're not brand new i've probably had them about six years it's just they get moved around the house from one room to another they get put in the kids they used to get put in the kids school bags and they'd still use their sleeves they're disgusting noise um all right still here still here that's good because i don't know what is going on now on this page should i go forwards again oh i only had to press the forwards i'd press the back button by accident that's okay right um i think it's back to what it should be um <laughs> i didn't do anything your end now on my end when i pushed it what had happened was it hit the back button um on my screen on my youtube screen so it was just saying oh the live's going and there's the little wheel of is it or isn't it and that's what was there and that was com what was confusing me slightly <laughs> now this is what happens when i drink tap water imagine what happens if i actually drunk some more of that wine <laughs> tastes like vinegar gang <laughs> it tastes like teach me for buying the cheapest box in the shop uh, it, it looks like COVID has affected my taste buds and made them turn posh. Because a couple of years ago, we went to, um, was it Portugal? No, oh, I can't think. But basically, we went Portugal way. And um, we've got friends over that way. And um, so we've gone to say hello to them and stayed close to them and spent time with them. And as a joke, Rob, like the husband, he brought back... A bottle of wine from out from the Audis over there that was one euro, right? And he picked it up in the shop, and he was with his best mate, who's known me for donkey's years. Well, he's known me for um, about three days less than what he's what my husband's known me for. Um, and they both went shopping for wine for the girls, as he puts it, for the girls because there was his partner and me. Right, his partner gets a 15, 16 euro bottle of wine. Hubby picks up a one a euro bottle of wine and went, that'll do her, she'll like that. So of course his best mate's like, stop being such a tight ass, right? Get her a decent bottle. And my husband's going, no, honestly, she will drink that. And he brought it back and I had two glasses and they blindfolded me and went, which glass do you like? So I've had a sip of the first, I had a sip of the second, gone, oh, I want that one. And it turned out it was the Euro bottle. <laughs> the Euro. Um, hold on, what are you saying? I've, I've skipped something. Um, she thinks she's been drinking on the quiet. No. Yeah, they um, they don't do they. They don't come back for a good while. You normally get about three months off, and then they'll come back do the rounds. Um, sorry, I was in response to a cath. I'm I'm so far behind. Oh, you have the only fans group. Oh, I've had the um dot dot number number group um dot dot couple of letters couple of numbers or a dot coms -y type thing as well so that's why my chat now you can't put links on unless of course you're an admin so you can't put your channel links up um and can't put links to outside sources got it set up that tight at the moment just in the hopes that they'll bog off and leave us alone 
So Ursula, Ursula had a, a Chinese username yelling at her in Spanish. That is a really weird combo. Actually, I am looking for a Chinese individual that Chinese is maybe their first language. That is their first language, sorry. That can do the script um, nicely. I'm looking for somebody and I need them quite soon. But I don't know if I have got any uh, Chinese individuals on my channel yet has anybody does anybody know of anyone yeah that's a quick question so do any of you and have any uh, channel members um chinese channel members on your on your channels that you trust smanoff a oh, welcoming darling she says when um when her kids were little she used to find a boogie rags in their pockets ooh you was lucky. You got rags in pockets. I had crusty sleeves. Crusty sleeves where they go like that. And it's like, you dirty little gits. Now I know my, my mum used to swear, like, swear loads at my brother because he used to do the same. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, God, now I can't stand gin. That stuff's vile. How can anyone drink that? I can't, I wouldn't even clean the kitchen sides with it. It's that disgusting. That's it. There's, that's the challenge that's been set. One of you's got to love gin and be like, no, and try this one. It will change your mind. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I can't fool you. Honestly, I'm so bad. I wish I wasn't. Oh, but it is a school day. So I best not. Um, Dave said, uh, David says that he really doesn't like wine and vodka on the other hand um, I'm a, I like vodka, Timory. Um I really should see if we can get promoted for this God, could you imagine it? Uh, was it vodka, Timory, Baileys um, What else is there? I can't think of half of the stuff I, I would drink Um but um, yeah, I, d I don't. I'm, I'm, sometimes I'll have a beer if I'm in the right. It depends on what mood I'm in. Um, I've not always been a wine drinker. I'm a cheap wine drinker. <laughs> you know that stuff they used to promote years ago <laughs> when we used to go out clubbing when we were all young. <laughs> what was it the? Uh, uh, what was it Martini? No, Mart not Martini. I couldn't stand Martini. But there used to be a wine that you could, Lambrini. I love that stuff. It's quite tough to find it now, but I love that stuff. I am that bad a drinker. I've got no taste buds when it comes to alcohol. Um, <laughs> as man of his say, uh, is, uh, sorry, Aleri is saying hi Jen, hi all. Sorry, I just jumped in during the boogie talk. <laughs> and it triggered a memory. Yeah, we've had some very random conversations <laughs> this evening. Um let's say hi everybody is saying hi to Smirnoff and I've had another big fat jump. There we go. Um yeah, that's all you can do, David, is delete and report um, those dodgy links. I, uh, you can actually uh, block certain things as well if you go into your settings more. Um, I do have a video on this channel explaining it all that I made before I got COVID when my brain was nearly normal. I only say nearly normal. I'm never going to say normal because it's never been normal. But um, I made a video up sort of going through all of the different aspects and things that you can do on um on the youtube settings back then and i was fine because I, I, I had fun i had a day when my brain really did work i now use that video <laughs> i have no choice i have to it's bad isn't it um steph is saying she's of chinese descendant but she can't help me with that that's perfectly fine darling as i said i'm looking i've i've got an idea for a pattern in my head but i want to make sure that the um callig is it callig is it called calligraphy the writing i'm not too sure and apologies if i'm saying the wrong thing but the um the beautiful writing that that's used i've got some off of um 
off of the internet and I really want to check it's the correct it's what I the word I'm actually looking for and not some a little toe rag that's a drawn or cute symbol um that says something that shouldn't really be put on a baby's blanket <laughs> so because that's where I'm hoping the symbols will go is onto a child's blanket um but as I said I want to doubly triply check that that is the right word um Right, word written first uh, yeah I could possibly find someone on Fiverr but I've uh, never used that site so it's not something I would really trust David but thank you for the um, idea um, Steph is saying that she's born in the US maybe try Etsy um, she's saying she did um, calligraphy when she was really young but she didn't care for it as a kid I got covered in I just got covered top to toe in ink I did so they gave up with that for me it was like no we'll take that up that fountain um fountain pen off you Angela here's your pencil back <laughs> yeah they really trusted me at school um and Kathy's saying she's not a big vodka fan except in uh, cocktails um she said that twice I think she's been on the sluice shoe lot I think <laughs> blame me for getting paralytic you tinker all right um o'leary is saying it's jd all the way so much that they, that you named your son jack daniels you evil sadistic toe rag but saying that i do also know someone that has named their their child tia um after tia maria because um that's what the mother had been drinking when the child got conceived David is saying a martini and a Rosie. Um, no, my uncle won't let me call him martini. He says it's not fair anymore. <laughs> I started doing it when I was about 16. He's called Martin. <laughs> so he's, uh, we went we went from calling him his pet nickname and he's gone, you're too old now, you've got to call me something else. And he is a sarcastic toe rag like, the, like me. So I just looked at him, grinned and went, all right, Martini. He's like, you can bog off. No, you're not doing that. Because he knows if I'd have seen him in a nightclub or a pub, I would have shouted it out for <laughs> whack. And just to embarrass him because I was evil. He'd have got me back though, guaranteed. He used to introduce me as the niece. If you try and crack onto her, I'm going to beat 10 bells out of you. And he and I never got boyfriends when I was around him. I never managed to pull if I was in a club around him either. He was evil. <laughs> um, wine callers became popular when you was in college, David. Um, a wine caller's wine boxes, basically. Are they these? Is that a wine caller over in America? Now, that is something I've heard a lot on films and things, but never actually uh, come across on my travels because we we did disney <laughs> that was about it for my lucky trip in america um oh dodo you got a bottle of the orange truffle baileys that stuff is gorgeously dangerous gorgeously dangerous we got some of that when we came back from australia we got it in duty free um we we managed to get both bottles because we had that one and the mint and we managed to get them both all the way home without drinking them because we were told if we opened them and started drinking them on the plane they would take them off us and my husband's going oh that's all right we can we can drink a bottle and i'm like no because we've got the kids we've got to look after the kids and we've got to make sure we don't leave them at the airport halfway <laughs> so um yeah we had these bottles when we got home and i'll tell you what oh they were so nice over ice with a dash of cream it's great cream how about jim beam that's just a cheap cheap alternative isn't it a, a knockoff to jack daniels isn't it the jim bean i don't know i don't drink either my husband likes his jack daniels um he got the advent calendar a couple of years ago when we were in australia his parents bought it for him He's still got it. He hasn't cracked any of them open. I'm just like, just drink your calendar, mister. <laughs> um, ah, David is saying he can do that through Nightbot, but these are comments after the fact to recorded videos or live stream replays. Oh, right, yeah, 
point taken, um, David. I haven't sussed out Nightbot yet. That's something I have got to do. Um, that glass nearly went again, gang. I really need to stop moving my hands. <laughs> um, and Steph is saying, oh, what words am I looking for? Um, I can't remember at the moment. Oh, what was it? No, if I if I say it now, it will give too much away for the for the actual pattern, Steph. Um, because of course we've got the Chinese and New Year coming up soon, haven't we? So I wanted to bring out a pattern for that, but I I, I can't give the Chinese words up, otherwise I'm giving up the idea behind the blanket as well. Um. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Skip. Um, Jen saying I could use Google Translate. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I've got mates who use Google Translate for a tattoo for their kids' names in Sanskrit or something, and it turns out that their beautiful tattoo for their name, say the child's name is Lily, does not actually say Lily. It says something rather rude. <laughs> so no, best not. Um, yeah, Kathy saying never use Google Translate for Chinese calligraphy. It's there's just if the characters are out by one little section, it can mean a completely different word from my understanding of it from the Chinese side of it, anyway. Um, my local Chinese, um, is run by some beautiful people, <laughs> um, <laughs> from Dorset. <laughs> And the other one is um, can Cantonese, Chinese and Cantonese. And they are from the area where the Cantonese food is and not the Chinese food. Um, and then if I go into town, they've got a wicked Chinese there. Um, but yeah, the, the owners are not Chinese. Um, a couple of the workers may be. Um, but they're definitely second or third um, generation UK born. Um, so their English is perfect. <laughs> and I've not seen any of them actually write their num their like the order. When they take the order, I look over and they're writing it in English. They're not writing it um, in Chinese or anything like that. Right, uh, Kathy's got her leg itch, got to go, darlings, and she's saying, have a great evening. Thank you ever so much for joining me this evening, darling. Oh, crikey, it's that time already. Um, I think I think I'll be heading off shortly as well. Um, a Smirnoff, uh, sorry, O'Leary is saying Jack loves it. He's twenty six now and thinks it's really cool. Oh, that you are so lucky. That could have so backfired. Um. <laughs> But then saying that, I, I was an I evilly. I have um, my elder daughter, and um, she's got a play on her name as well. But my family do initials. We like to uh, use the initials to um, to play around with, rather than any rather than the full name. So um, my brother, his surname, um, his initials spell out the word map because um, he was stuck with that, you see, and mine don't make anything because me grand my gran <laughs> mucked up my name i was not meant to be an angela i was meant to be something else which would have worked but um yeah my grandmother didn't like it when she found out what it was going to spell so i told my dad in no in no uncertain terms she is called angela if you call her anything else you are out of a job, you're out of a home, and because my dad actually worked for my grandparents and we lived in a house that was owned by them, so my gran had a lot of control. So I got called An um I got called Angela. Um and my my sister was KP, so we my parents used to go, Oi, Nutty, come here. So she was nicknamed after KP Peanuts, or her nickname was anyway. So uh, when it came to my daughter um we had two variations it was either going to be tar as in t-a-r or tap so we gave her the my surname which happened to end uh start with a p so she was my little tap so i used to call her my little drip 
<laughs> I was so evil. It changed after she got to about two when people, when she would have started saying anything about it. Um, but yeah, she was she was a little our little drip for quite a while. Um, and then the um, a younger one, her initials spell out Lou, as in L E W. So uh, we told her elder cousin that actually we'd secretly named the baby after her um because she was about seven or eight at the time and she was like well what do you mean and i'm like well your name is louise and she's like yeah and i'm like well i call you my lulu don't i i call you lulu and she's gone yeah i said what's the baby's name and she said i said what are the initials and it was spelled lou and i've gone there you go it's lou and lou so i was like pointing to her pointing to the baby it's, it's lulu and she's like oh that's so cool so um i was quite lucky there but um but otherwise, yeah, that's that's the sort of thing that my my family do, right? So everybody was saying bye to our gorgeous Akath. Uh, um, David, as I said, I will have to look into Nightbot, but I've got to do that once my brain is in gear. Um, if I need some help, can I come and annoy you, please? Um, Steph is saying you can send me how to say Happy New Year. Oh, that would be lovely, darling. Um, especially for February when the New Year comes in, and that would be absolutely beautiful. I'd love to use that. Um, but it would be a more of a picture on the channel rather than um the blanket because that's not the words I'm after. But nice cheeky attempt at getting the answer out of me. You cheeky day rag um so if you wanted to email them that would be beautiful but you don't have to feel obliged to you don't have to if you don't if you haven't got time yes david um david is saying also regarding chinese a tremendous amount of meaning comes from the inflect infection inflection sorry i'm i'm still learning some of the longer words um i'm I'm reading a lot into it at the moment. It's already, it's always interested me, like the histories, but I've never gone deep into the meaning of different things. And at the moment I'm going deeper in, I'm going down the rabbit hole and finding out so much cool information. No, I didn't. <laughs> See what I mean, David? I am, I am so dense when it, I can barely work out how to get out of this county at the moment. Um, Uh, do, do, do. Nice try, Megan. We're not interested in that sort of stuff, darling. If you want to try it, bog off somewhere else. If you want to stay here, uh, chat crochet. We've got better sites than what you're advertising. Yep, Steph, don't panic, honey. He or she is gone. It's a shame because that name looked pretty normal to me. Um, is as long as you don't click it gang that is the main thing if you see it i will get to it when i see it um just don't acknowledge them just ignore them just ignore the thing don't click on it it will be gone which means um by the time i get to it which means then when it comes into replay it won't get seen at all so then we haven't got to worry about any little nippers seeing it we've just got to worry that the wording that i've used hasn't been too rude David is saying that his dad was named for the, uh, from the movie star Douglas Fairbanks. Do I remember that movie? I think that's... Um, what sort of stuff was that bloke in, David? Would it have been anything that I would have known? Please remember, I was born late 70s. So it's only late 80s and onwards I start remembering stuff. Jane, that's so cool! <laughs> if you liked that band, that is... <laughs> Oh, Jane, you've got a JPS of you. Um, no, we managed to escape the JPS. Uh, my mum wouldn't have it. Um, oh, we've got another one in. Uh, where are we gone? That one there. Oh, what have I done? I've pushed a button, whether it was the right one or not. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Oh, 
Oh, does she? Um, yes, I've been over on um, a cocktails and crochets um, channel a few times. I haven't, I hadn't had a chance to and uh, nose through everything. I normally just do a gen generalised um, search and hope for the best <laughs> that I can come up with something. Oh, Jen, that's sneaky that your initials never change. That's so cool. Um, Dodo, as I said, I'm, I'm back now. I've done it. I've knocked them on the noggin. They've gone. Oh, your dad was in 1933. Three. I'm trying to think. When was my dad born? My dad was. Um, hold on. He came out just after uh, at the end of the war. So he's a fifty, fifty-four, fifty-five baby. I think. I've probably aged him a couple of years now. He'll probably tell me off if he ever sees this. Um, David, Jen is saying, has Coco been on recently? That may be another reason why I haven't been to Nose. Hmm. Right, so who have we... How many of you, gang, are still here with me? <laughs> how many have I driven away? <laughs> still seven of you viewing. Oh, wow, thank you ever so much, gang. Um, and, don't, and 13 likes, 13 people have sneaked in today. And that is brutal. Thank you ever so much. So I don't normally look at the stats during the lives, do I? I normally um, I look at them later and go, really? Really that many people? <laughs> right, I did you want uh, one more question? Hold on a minute. I'm going to have to go through my chat later and check if I've got everybody that's a one. Oh, um, Dodo doesn't think Coco's been on for a little while. She's probably busy with family and stuff. He's coming up to Chris Christmas and all. <laughs> Is it not starting to scare you, though? Um, O'Leary is saying, Dad, um, it, it was a 1933 too was born in 1933 too and he's still going strong i called them the other day and his wife said she'd go get him it was up a tree <laughs> soaring a branch sorry i was about to read that wrong as i swing in on a branch <laughs> and saying that um i think while while you're still able to do everything and do it age age is a number that's all it is um i used to work in a home with a, um older generations i'm going to call it they used to call it elderly back then um and i have one lady in there she was early uh, mid 60s who never wanted to get out of bed never wanted to do anything because she was in a lot of lot of pain okay which is understandable um but then you had the chap up the up the road up the hall who spent most of his day in the smoking room with the staff because at that point we were allowed to because I'm going back to the 90s um, and um, he'd spent most of the day smoking away and he was 107 still walking unaided he had a walking stick so he could lift our skirts up that was how, why he had the walking stick was so that he could oik the skirts because his kids bought it for him saying dad it would make us feel safer if you have it still had his full full set of teeth and they weren't shop bought so still had his own teeth reasonable head of hair um and as i said was 107 F mentally he he was so smart um you would walk in if you put your newspaper down um left it for half an hour and came back he would have completed all of the puzzles in it all of it such a smart guy chain smoker and um then of course the government turned around and said you can't smoke in care homes which meant that the people that lived there were not allowed to smoke in the care home either which was their home which i i think was unfair yeah the staff shouldn't have smoked in there but if the client smokes they're paying to live there they're, they're paying the way so they should have been allowed to do what they liked um 
but basically he was told he couldn't smoke anymore on the grounds so that it might kill him. And he just looked at him and went, I've been smoking since I was six. If it was going to do it, it had done it by now. And all the staff, are like all the smokers are like, yay. <laughs> but they, he ended up having to quit smoking because the government told him so. Because he wasn't allowed to smoke there. Right, um, and Jane is heading off now. She said she's got to go. She's tired. She's been up since 5.45am. Oh, crikey, babe. It's pretty late for you as well. So, a uh, good night, darling. Have a, a lovely sleep. If you're around, hopefully I'll catch you'll catch me again tomorrow and have, an, have another bit of uh, a fun time. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, so David hasn't seen her in live streams, but he's seen her in other people's live streams. Okie dokies. Uh, so people are saying the night to Jane. <laughs> Swearing off is saying he probably was swinging on the branch, knowing him. <laughs> Upside down by his knees, if he's anything like my dad. <laughs> my dad's a couple of years younger, though. But saying that, my dad would probably do the same thing. My dad's fitter than me. Easily fitter than me. He'll do an 18-hour day um, day at work and then go off for a shoot. Because um, he does clay pigeon shooting and stuff like that. And he's got a boat. And he's got this. And he's got that hobby. This hobby. The other hobby. David, what you like? Hello, YOH. Welcome in, darling. You sneaked in there, didn't you, girl? Um, so, uh, David is saying um, he always said he was born middle aged and his body's caught up with him and now it's overtaken him. Um, Everybody is saying hi to YOH. Um, <laughs> oh, Leary, what you like? She's saying the uh, smoke probably preserved him. Oh, I don't know. It might have been the bottle of wine he used to drink at night. <laughs> no, they also tried to cut down the amount of alcohol he was having because it might kill him. And he's like, I'm 157, just let me have some fun. Some of the, some of the younger staff were threatening to take him out clubbing. We were like, we'll take you down the local clubs, mate. Do you fancy coming to a strip joint? <laughs> he was well up for it, but we were told we would have to fill in health and safety and risk assessments. <laughs> And the amount of paperwork that was involved in insurances was going to take forever. And I was like, oh, that poor bloke. No fun. Okay, so why won't you saying hello to everybody? Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, YOH. On the hour, I'm going to be uh, knocking this live on the head this evening. We'll do uh, one more silly question because they are, they are for kids. I picked the wrong question set. Um, so they're for kids. So they're super, super easy. Um, so we'll have another question. See if anybody is able to win a winner's only a pattern pass. Uh, sorry, a vault pass for the winner's only patterns. Now they are, remember, they are corner to corner. Uh, they are from the Dismay and the Marvellous range. Um, and they're the ones that I can't sell because <laughs> of copyright. But you can make them and you can send me a picture and I can show everybody. So at least that way we're not losing out, are we? It's not something that I've spent hours and hours in there colouring in boxes and counting boxes and stuff like that and writing it up for it to then get deleted. Alright, so uh, Jen is saying I'm going to thank you for the fun. Uh, thank you for the fun, Ange. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight, darling. <sighs> yeah, it's been fun having you here. Um, ah, so you were just sneaking in for the last 15, were you, my OH? <laughs> it's alright, I don't mind. Right, um, now remember everybody that I have also uh, got the code that myself... Reggie at J Hook Crochet and our gorgeous Kath at Kath's Eye Catchers. All three of us are using the same code on our shops. Mine is Ravelry and the other two girls are on their Etsy shops. I know I get there. Um, okay, and the uh, code is... <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna laugh at this one. I love this code. And the code is Hookers Holiday, all in capital letters, for your chance to get fifteen percent off at all three of the shops. So it's a one-time use code on mine. I don't know about the other two girls. Okay, um, 
but yeah it's a 15 percent off at either um at all all three of the shops so that is kath our gorgeous kath here at uh, kath's eye catchers over on etsy then you've got j hook crochet over on etsy and of course and mine is over on ravelry so uh, my link is at the top of the uh, comment section there i've now got 20 patterns up for you to choose from if you fancy it but don't worry you don't have to purchase the pattern quite a lot of them are already free on the channel it just means you have to sit there and do a lot of writing okay um so that was one bit that i've not mentioned too much today um but as i said i will stick up a another quick question and then once you guys have got that i've got to find something that's a little bit difficult um okay so i'm gonna change this one around no i'm not <sighs> these are far too easy oh maybe not there may be one or two of you that might get this one straight off or oh, none of you <laughs> right okay so what am i on i've got the wrong thing sorry i'm sitting here pushing this bit here because i've got a spot coming up and it's doing my name so just in case you're wondering why I'm sitting there tweaking there all the time, that's why. I always get them in winter. Alright, so our last um, a question for this evening is, what was Mickey Mouse's original name? Oh, crikey. What was Mickey Mouse's original name? Any ideas, gang? You're doing, you're doing my penguin. You bought it off of the Ravelry shop, didn't you? Or did you? Oh, Leary. It's all right. I've, I've only, I've been really lucky. I've had um, 19 people buy patterns, but of course, some of the names don't match the channel names. So, like your email may not match there. And of course, I'm rubbish with names i was gonna say another word so i'm gonna see then um yeah i'm rubbish with names so it's trying to remember everybody i thought it was that i thought it was still in boat willy but not according to this um where's it gone yeah it's a really strange one but it's not according to this they may have it wrong we never know yeah, because we all rem we all know the very first cartoon, of course, was Steamboat Willie, wasn't it? Um, but no, he was not going to be called that. Ah, so now I've got one. That you lot are racking your brains. Yeah, so um, hey, Leary, send me the picture, darling, when you're finished. If it's um, if it's this penguin, I would I really, I really love to see it. And if it is, how are you finding the pattern to follow? Um, right, so uh, let's see. We've got our answers coming in. Steamboat Willie, Steamboat Mickey. And no, not Willie. Not Don. I've written it down. <laughs> um, Steph is off by half. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh, my penguin from Ravelry. Thank you ever so much for purchasing the pattern, darling. As I said, if you need any help with it, remember you can... Uh, find me off an email it might take me a couple of hours well it's going to take me 12 soon because it's night time but it might take me a little while to get back to you but i will help you out wherever i can okay darling so yeah definitely send me that picture when you're finished i can't wait to see what it would look like in cottons what um brand are you using Ah, uh, uh, so three of you come have come in right now with the correct answer. Mortimer, Mortimer, I was thinking Mortimer too, says our David. Right, so the very first person on my screen 
who um, came in first was actually Spud our O'Leary. Uh, congratulations, uh, darling. Now, I'm gonna need what I'm gonna need for you to do is find me off an email. <laughs> talking emails, uh, find me off an email. The information is in the uh, description box of this video, okay? And it also explains how you can claim your prize. There's the long-winded, all of these rules apply type bit. And then there is the bit on the bottom that says how to claim your prize. If you have a read through that um, and then find me off an email, make sure that you're a channel member. Okay, find me off the email and then I will give you a code word that I will need you to uh, put into the comment on this video when it goes into replay. So you need to do that as well before you email me. <laughs> oh, it gets so confusing. But don't worry, I will talk you through the steps if you need it. Okay, um, so congratulations, darling. I had best write that down. And then what I will do is I will send you a list of um, all of the di different pattern choices you have. And then if you want any more information on any of them before you make your choice, to just say, just ask questions. And I can answer and um, give you the answers, basically. So it's like, oh, if you say to me, oh, how, how many rows is that? How big is that? I can sort of say to you how many rows, especially now I know that you've got the penguin. I can say based off the penguin, it's going to be this much bigger or this much smaller. All right. Yeah, channel member is just subscribing. It's the free stuff. It is, it's not costing you anything. It's just the one where you you hit hit the like, you hit the subscribe, and then you hit the bell. No, <laughs> that is all I ask of any of the subscribers to claim the prizes is just that you've got that. If you can show that you've got that as well, that makes it a little bit easier. And also, quite a lot of us do ask for that, and um, that you have that. So if if they're doing a draw, we'll we'll do the draw. We'll check the name, and if that name at that point in time hasn't got their subscriptions open so that we can see them, then we automatically go on and redraw. So if you've never won anything before, <laughs> but you've entered loads and loads, and that may be a why. I know this because it turns out I'd missed out on a couple of prizes <laughs> over the years I've been watching YouTube before I started up the channel. As soon as I realised where I was going wrong, all of a sudden I started winning stuff and I was like, oh, this is so cool. Right, I think we're getting to the point where we're going to be winding up now. And so... um thank you ever so much for joining me if you're available tomorrow i sh i will be uh, back on again at 1 30 i think i put it in for um at 1 30 till quarter to three maybe even three o'clock i might push it a bit longer depends on what time i have to pick up the daughter i don't remember okay so um that is already on the channel so if you wanted to go and jump off in a few moments and go and book in for that one for a reminder then you'll be able to do that um and hopefully I will get to see you again tomorrow afternoon. That is a UK timings mind. Because <laughs> I know a couple of you in different countries. Um, so again, I would like to say thank you ever so much everybody for joining me this evening. Congratulations to the winners. Please remember winners to read the how to claim in the description box. And um, I will... I'll speak to you all really really soon so if you can and please stay in and definitely stay safe so for now everybody